basically it's in its own chassis with inside the, the complete unit. And how's that connected up there, Len? That's connected up. Uh, first of all, there's a PCI card, which mm -hmm. is the industrial control. Right. Industrial control card's down here, and it controls the opening and closing of the gates. Uh -huh. The box above that is a remote control box so that the handheld buttons, as I'll show you here, yep. these handheld buttons which the operators walk around with mm -hmm. will be recognised. On the top here is a power supply for running the system, fuses for every one of the operating gates. The operating gates are then connected back to relays, which control whether the gates are open or closed. Those relays are then driven by either the remote controller or the computer controller or the levers that are on the back side here. Right, so there are three lots of controls to control the gates. Computer, remote and levers. Okay. Um, this is a power supply coming in to here. The RFID reading, which is the panel in the gate, and that's reading the cows' tags. And coming out in front is the scale unit. Up on the top here, you can see the weigh beams supporting the total crush. Right. And those weights are coming across through the calibrator into the computer. Okay. Then the interface to the operator is the touch screen on the other side. We're on the other side and have a look here. Yeah. This is the uh, operator. I'll just change that now to ordinary colours. Pick an employee, key in the password. Be good if you're a typist. And now we're waiting for the next cow to enter. As she enters, we'll read a tag. If you want to watch a uh, we'll start an insemination, we've got, yep. we've got to get the temperature up first. Okay. So they're coming out of their frozen, so obviously. So it's coming out of their frozen as a straw. Yep. Now, the straw is being selected uh, for the particular heifer. Okay. Bringing the semen up to thawing. It's now the end of the straw is cut off so that now the semen can be pushed out. Right. It's now put into a sheaf, and when that pushes into the sheaf, it will be the sheaf's now locked, so that when the trigger is pushed at the end, it is now going to inject that semen. So the art now is to get the by feeling for the cervix, the cervix. Yep. So from the rectum, you can put your hand down and start to feel the cervix. Then you're pushing your inseminator in, and and preference to Mother Nature's, that will now be threaded through the cervix. Right. So the actual semen is going to be uh, injected Correct. beyond the cervix. Right. Now, right. just to make sure that's right, we'll, you'll see we'll do a couple of steps. Which he's not a good man. He's supposed to have moved uh -huh. that a couple of times up not and down. Not these days. Not these days. And you don't palpitate. What? Right, just shoot it straight in the body of the uterus and away you go. We'll see. Yeah, old school in my old days. We we move it. Two thirds, one third. Two thirds, one third. And then just as a uh, a second factor, we, we palpate the cervix so that she thinks that she has been joined because that excites the whole system to right, right. Yeah. make the uh, heat and the, the, the uh, start to swim around furiously. Yep. 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 Um, because it's got now another four blade. Four blade. Rough and ready. Where's the Now in an environment like this, conceptions is not quite as important. Right. Um, as in the beef industry. Right. Now, the two reasons why that is is one, their semen's relatively uh, inexpensive. Right. Because, um, as you can imagine, dairy bulls, there's a lot of them, and uh, 
the genetics is pretty consistent. Where in the beef cattle, um, an ordinary straw costs you twelve dollars, but a, a good straw will cost you eighty dollars. Right. So you don't want to waste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So you want to make sure that uh, you get. So how much for the straw? I, I don't know what these dairy oh. ones cost, about 12 bucks or 14 bucks. These are $30, $30 balls, these are $30. Yeah. That's the insemination process. Now in a normal day's process, what we're looking at is bringing the cows through. The cows wander up to here. This way, which indicates her, her growth cake characteristics. And sometimes she's measured for height. In dairy cattle, uh, height um, is a good indicator of the frame of the cow and the structure of the cow that she's going to end up. And the system then automatically is taking a weight. Here's the weight showing here now. So if I touch it, I now put her weight on. That's plus move. I could say that she's AI'd mm -hmm. and with a certain sire, and that's positively telling us that she's been AI'd. Mm -hmm. And then we can just accept it and we'll wait till the ready to be artificially inseminated. I see, right. <laughs> which is quite funny because this system is called an AI system, which is artificial intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> so when you've got artificial intelligence doing the artificial insemination, <laughs> very artificial. Change your right brake to the left. Yeah. Yeah.